Okay. Right now we have a, uh, I'll show it to you here, we have a uh, gigantic 6 inch by 4 inch neodymium iron boron in 50 gauss. It's uh, absolutely titanic and nonetheless a uh, dangerous sucker and if you lean over it too long it will make your eyeballs hurt literally due to chromatomes in the human eye. I thought I would let you see what an absolutely titanic did I say Titanic? Titanic? <laughs> uh, Titanic. Dangerous magnet. Looks like underneath the ferrule cell. Now I'm going to flip it on its side. Here you can see I have it on its side. And I'll show you the dielectric inertial plane. This is the point at which... I'll let me show it to you here. Over here to either side, quote-unquote pole, you'll uh, see a black void, just like a black hole, so to say. Here we have the midsection of the magnet. It's the dielectric inertial plane. Either side over here we have this black void where the light is literally being sucked in. I wish you could actually see this in your hand. I mean you really cannot discern this from a video. But uh, you actually get tremendous depth. I mean absolutely incredible. Uh, and we're looking at the light as it's being sucked in along uh, the centripetal uh, convergent quote-unquote pole on either side here and along the dielectric inertial plane it's totally being sucked in that's why there's an absence of light here and over here now I'm gonna flip it oh my god this is a heavy bastard and flip it back over on its side this is where some of the chromium plating is lifting off but you can see it's a huge sucker and uh, let me get the camera back a little. I want to get the camera too close because uh, uh, erasure of the uh, SD card. Here you can see. As I go around the magnet here, you see the black void in the center. Let me raise the camera up just a little bit. There we go. Let me see if I can zoom in just a hair for you. I'm going around the magnet. We have divergent uh, centrifugal and convergent centripetal. As Faraday called it, magnetism is nothing other than the dielectric field, i.e. the loss of inertia. There's only one field and four field modalities. That black center there is, of course, the pole. Literally, the light is being sucked in because light is a coaxial magnetodielectric and electrical circuit. I don't know if you know the composition of a coaxial cable, but you have the shielding and the center core light is exactly like a coaxial circuit. Longitudinal dielectric and transverse reciprocating electrical and magnetic. And let me put the magnet you show it to God, it's heavy. Oh, God. There we go. Put it along its edge again. And this midpoint right here is the dielectric inertial plane. I.e. the point of inertia where no magnetism exists. Just for example, if you were to travel to the center of the sun or the earth, if you could, there would be no gravity at the very center. Same is true of a magnet. Science, physics, and quantum quackery has never defined the uh, dielectric inertial plane. They call it the block wall. But what it is is the point of inertia. If you were actually able to take this magnet and salami cut it a million, million, million times, which of course you can't, but if you could, each little slice would have a quote unquote north pole and south pole just like this. It is incommensurability, point non specific self-similarity. Oh my god, where have I heard about that before? Oh, fractals, right, self-similarity. From macro to micro we have self-similarity. The Greeks, the Platonists, the Pythagoreans understood this incommensurability thousands of years ago and yet you talk about something like that today and people go, huh, what's that mean? I, I never heard of that word before. Yeah. It's because you've been too busy watching Seinfeld episodes and trying to get rich and late all the time. You've actually never devoted your mind towards anything 
higher thought. Anyway, you've seen it here first. There's no other video like it on the internet. Um, fascinating to some, boring to some, depends on where your mind is. But this is the fundamental force divergence of the entire universe from the atomic scale to the galactic scale. What would that be? Oh, they call it magnetism. Yeah. Um, when we turn on the light, you can see how huge this honker is. <laughs> and here's my hand covering it. Ah, absolutely ginormous. Anyway, thanks for watching. You've seen it here first. Uh, doesn't exist anywhere else, so great. Thanks for watching. You know, every school and every college should have a ferro cell. No, I'm not selling them. No, I get no money from anybody buying a cell at ferro cell. It's not my invention. Okay, but it's amazing. This is invented back in 2007. You won't find this in any school or college. Should they have it? Uh, yeah. Do they have it? Nope, none of them do. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.